Hello, welcome to Dimu's tutorials on engineering drawings advanced questionaries. In this video we will find answers to questions on engineering drawings. Mostly related to view management and standards for constructing engineering drawings. Question, what is the difference between isometric and perspective view? Answer, perspective view is the view seen by human eye. Take an example of cube. In that all the edges of the cube would be parallel in sets of four. In the perspective drawing, the edges would taper towards one or more vanishing points. In perspective the edges will meet each other at some point in space. Isometric view is preferred in mechanical drawings and perspective is used in architectural drawings. Question, what is meant by appearance side? Answer, appearance side of assembly or any product is a view which is seen by user during normal usage. Mention of appearance part below the view is compulsory to make manufacturer conscious about finishing process. Especially when it is a sheet metal part. Question, what are the general standards remembered while working on appearance side and parent view? Answer, first view of part shall be the view of part on assembly when assembly seen from appearance side. And all other views shall be projected from first view, which is also called parent view. Even though parts are internal and not visible directly, same terminology shall be followed as in master assembly, we can see how the part will look like when external parts hidden. If part fits in tilted position on assembly, turn the part to closest horizontal or vertical plane and consider it as first view. Question, list out the primary and secondary view types used in engineering drawing. Answer, front, left, right and top views are always supposed to be default views. They are called primary view. Sometimes for better explanation of features, back view or bottom view are shown. They are called secondary views. Question, tell about detail view, sectional view and auxiliary view. Answer, when geometry has complicated features, their detail view, sectional view, or auxiliary view can be shown with mention of geometry enlarged if needed. Some companies may show scale also. When everything can not be accommodated on one sheet, two or three sheets can be used, sectional view, detailed views or auxiliary view can be shown on supplementary sheets, but following rules shall be followed strictly. Section of detail or auxiliary view is allowed. Detail of sectional or auxiliary view is allowed. Detail of detailed view shall not be followed. Auxiliary view of auxiliary view is not allowed. Question, give better explanation on auxiliary view. Answer, this is an example of round block where many views are used to define pink colored features of part in each view. It is possible to construct drawing both the ways shown here. Auxiliary view is shown in first drawing. Both the drawings will define part fully. Second drawing looks simple and easy to manufacture. But in first drawing its parent view is taken the way it looks from appearance side of assembly, which is more standardized way of constructing drawing. Question, list out the common dimensioning styles. Answer, following our styles. Linear dimensions. Aligned dimensions. Ordinate dimensions. Angular dimensions. Diameter. Radius and chamfer. Question, why isometric view is needed? Answer, some features of parts can not be defined fully in orthographic view. 
For better explanation isometric view is needed. In part drawing, first page of drawing shall contain two, three, or four default views, and isometric view in top right corner. Isometric view is optional when part has very simple geometry like bush and pin. Question. What are the general checkpoints for constructing an engineering drawing? Answer. Please see below. For drawing template. Use of right size template. Correctness in names of drawn by checked by and approved by. Projection method symbol. Current revision label. Past revision details. Part number and part name. Open tolerance values. And sheet number. For drawing views and dimensions. Orientation of views according to projection method. Isometric view at top corner. No view running out of template. View label below non-standard views. Number of instances after dimension if they are more than one time for example two places. All features in drawings are defined. No missing dimension. No redundant dimension. No dimension on geometry. No dimension running out of template. Dimension lines gap standard. Dimes cyan arrow size. Dimension text height. And cross referencing of views by zone. For drawing notes, text height. Material specifications. Important non geometrical data. Units of dimensions. And compliance standards if any. Thanks for watching. Log on to dies.biz for more engineering tutorials.